Hello everyone, Monochrome here. Surprise, surprise, I got myself a ThinkPad. Especially an old X220 from 2011. So let's be honest, it's not the be-all, end-all machine that people on the internet preaches and marks it up to be. But also, it's not a relic of the past that no one should even use. But it's something in between, but more inclining towards the first point of it being really the best machines you could possibly find. I am not really good at reviews, so I don't know how to properly review something. But here are the good things. 1. The keyboard is really nice. Uh, I can't stress that enough. It's one of the or maybe even the best keyboard I have ever used on a laptop, period. If you are the type of person to spend a lot of time on the keyboard, like if you type a lot of messages or you do a lot of programming or you just use a tiling window manager and use command line tools of which you will need to type a lot of stuff, this is just amazing. Coming from the MacBook Pro with its crappy, almost no travel uh, chiclet keyboard to this um, keyboard, it, it just feels like you reached heaven in, in a way. It's how good it is. It has really long travel, the keyboard keycaps are really soft and it, it feels nice to touch and it has a good throwback like when you click and release a key, the springiness of it coming back, it's really good as well. It is a bit on the tighter side but it's still very good and it even kind of sounds nice when you're typing. <coughs> it isn't really that big of a deal but some people also find the sound of the keyboard really appealing so for a membrane keyboard it does have a bit of a popping a popping kind of sound and it's quite nice two the hinge uh the thinkpad hinge is 180 degrees it's a must on literally any laptop having this flexibility means you can tilt the laptop to your liking when you're on the couch or on your bed something like that it just gives you a lot of flexibility that you don't really get on a normal laptop. 3. The track point. The track point, I would say, is better than the trackpad in many ways. <clears throat> Once you start using the track point, it becomes really weird to reach out for the trackpad or for the mouse. 4. Ports, motherfucker, do you speak it? Having actual ports is... It's something that you'll never understand until you lose the ability to connect stuff. After coming from the MacBook Pro, being able to just plug everything in without having to fuss with a dongle or having to buy some random uh, overpriced dongle, it, it's quite nice actually. 5. Hardware, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth kill switch. 6. There is a rolled edge on the keyboard. Which is something that I really, really appreciate. Instead of being a sharp edge, which means when you're typing, your wrist is not getting um, cut by the edge of the sharp edge of the laptop. There is this wedge on the screen as well. It's big enough to actually grab the laptop and go in case you really wanted to. 7. Easy as balls, upgradability for RAM, storage and battery. It doesn't get easier than this. RAM is held on by two captive screws and the RAM door opens right up. Battery is easily replaceable by just unlocking the latches and just yanking it out. It, it's super easy. You could carry multiple batteries and get more battery life out of the machine. And the storage is just held on by one single screw which is also captive and you can just yank the hard drive out. 8. Repairability. Nothing is glued shut and everything is simply removable with a Phillips screwdriver that you most likely have. 9. Status indication LEDs. The major two ones that I really love is the battery and the suspend one. 10. <clears throat> the think light is really useful. The think light may not be as elegant as a backlight, but it does the same thing as a backlight as in you see the keys on your keyboard in a dark environment. But it also does a lot more than your regular keyboard backlight because a keyboard backlight only uh, lights up your keyboard and nothing else. But the thing light being a light on the top of the bezel that is shooting down onto your keyboard, it also illuminates all a lot of play a lot of things near your keyboard keyboard, like the desk. Here are some miscellaneous things that I forgot to add on to the script, but I just remember right now. 
the thinkpad keyboard is actually water resistant in some in in some ways which is really good i think not not many laptops have that feature let's go to the bad things the bad things are long and it's mostly nitpicky and given how old the machine is it uses old technology and thus some of the bad things are just due to the technology being old it's not super fast because it's a 12 year old processor a second generation core i5 so it's not super powerful it's not super power efficient as well it gets hot and it will be slow for really heavy demanding stuff like compilation or something like that but for the most part it's powerful enough for normal use cases the trackpad is kind of bad it's really small and for the people who cannot use the trackpad the trackpad isn't good enough for them to use the trackpad buttons the left click the middle click and the right click are a bit mushier for my liking parts and upgradeability depends greatly upon where you live and how easy it is to get the parts There are no comparisons.